Right. There we go, go. So, Fort Perrin. It's heavily guarded, the lights are on, but there are 46 zombies out here laying siege. What happened in the past? Lots of zombies stood up. Probably zombies that were previously shot dead. Anybody come out and talk? Somebody came to kill a zombie with a fire axe. A legitimate technique. If there are a lot of zombies outside, you could go on a big rampage and shoot them all dead. It might seem like a waste of AP, but really reducing the number of zombies outside stops a lot of ferals from seeing the horde and joining in. In any case, we are here. Those barricades have got to go down. So I'm going to smash. If you're around, join in the smash, because the faster it goes down, and the more people we get in, the more the AP game is in our favor. And if there are people around inside, they might get those barricades up, so we've got to be fast. It's down, it's up, it's in. Get in! I'm going to let out a bellow. And that's going to call out all the ferals around in the area and let them know that Fort Perrin is open for business. So, dead young and sands of our palm are there. We know they're members of the Horde, so let's try not to claw them to death, as tempting as it may be. And let's get around to tearing them apart. Who do we feel like tearing apart? Probably the most recently active ones who are at the bottom, like Limitless Sadness. If they're a member of the Fort Perrin Defense Force, then they're all the better to tear apart. So let's get in 19 zombies inside. That is ideal. It's all about the AP game. Oh god, right, Limited Sadness. I'm going to lose my chance at you. Um, and, 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 and. Let's try and crush him to death. Oh my god! A zombie also took out Major Jack Levansky. Well, I'm here to... Oh, well, no, forget that. Limited Sadness got taken out by Binky J. Excellent. Right, I am the police. He was snooping around in the chat here. They said they're not going to be hanging around anymore, but we'll see about that. Take him down. You maul I am the police for three damage. Maul them further. And there we go. You maul them, they die. Damn right they die. The zombies are up to 20 now. Now even if these people were active right now and trying to barricade the gatehouse, they would have severe difficulty. Because when you have a number of zombies here, I think it's like five or more, uh, if you attempt to barricade it says the zombies lurch in your way a lot of times. Suddenly the barricade AP game becomes in your favor. Right, I don't like how lit up it is here, so I'm actually going to take out that generator. I'm going to smash the thing with my hands. Whilst Jumbo Lump was taken out by Dr. E. Spengler, and, uh, oh, Dr. E. Spengler also beat me to destroying the generator. Ace Russo has been taken out by Lizard. The numbers are going down. I spy you there, Danny NT. A zombie bit Danny NT to death, and it was Rested Pandy. I need to make sure Rested Pandy is on my list there. And Sir Random from the Fort Feral Zombies is yelling ra 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 Gazambas. Which is a skill you can get. You can put whatever into the uh, into the speak thing here. Alright, the numbers are going down. Our AP collectively is probably going down, but I've still got a fair chunk at 20, even after letting out the bellow. A really nice thing is that the zombies have been going going around biting people. If their health is in green, that means they're infected. An infected survivor takes one hit point of damage for every action they take. So uh, if they were to start running away, they'd still take damage as they move away. It can be healed with a uh, it can be healed with a first aid kit, but of course that's going to take time. That's going to take one of their first aid kits, and then they'd have to go and search in the infirmary for more of it. Um, who else? We feel? Well, almost everyone's taken a bite out of. Although good on people, they didn't bite dead young or Zanzibar palm. They need to move to uh, allow the ransack, but that only happens when they're out of uh, people in general. When a building is empty, the zombies can ransack, and that prevents barricading, it prevents searching. It's just good. Gobbo is down, courtesy of November Steel. Lizard71 to get Austin Man. Uh, Triller, a very high level for Dead Dead Revolution, very good. Uh, a slumbering, bloated corpse that's been rotting for far too long. Sounds like the kind of guy I want to get to know. Let's let's add you to the contacts list. That means they're going to show up as grey now here. It shows all the zombies we recognize if we had them added to our contact list. I spy jollies. I'm trying actually not to get the kills. Oh, welcome I and the police. Surely you want to join in the fun from this side. Um, getting kills as a zombie is a very good way to get experience. 
Uh, you get a bonus, I forget how much. Oh, I think someone just cured Jollies there. Oh, some lost guy has joined in. Well, it'd be a shame not to say hello with a lovely hug. With a lovely hug, there we go. And since we've given them a hug, let's give them a lovely bit of a gnasher. And if anyone's on low hit points, I'd love to do my favourite thing and drag them into the streets, but no one's low enough. They keep dying. Triller is Kiryu. Ah, I should have known Kiryu as a patrician with good tastes. Uh, I will continue mulching you with my hands. Ah, but I lose my grip and they writhe out. I think the speed is going down. Most people have spent all their AP killing, but we've taken about, about half the gatehouse and the... Um, and the generator is down. Gives us an opportunity to actually go inside the fort. Here we go. Uh, oh, Ghost Killers, they're doing a combat revive. Combat revive is pretty good for you as a zombie, actually, because it takes them a needle and ten action points to do so. And you just get right back up, and hey, you're a survivor. You could shoot them, then kill yourself and be a zombie again. This is the full inside of the fort. The gatehouse is the only way in. You need to smash down the barricades or enter when it's very strongly or lower as a survivor. And then you're free to go around and you can trash these places, but the infirmary, armory, storehouse, barracks, storehouse, and vehicle depot are all individually barricaded themselves. The armory is the place where they're getting all their guns from, the infirmary is where they're getting their healing from, and the vehicle depot and the storehouses, I'm pretty sure, have the gasoline and such. And if you enter the gatehouse from in here, you're straight inside the gatehouse. It's a very unique building. There are only two fort, uh, forts in the whole of Malton which is the fictional cities is based on, if you've ever wondered why I keep calling places Molten in the games that I play. The infirmary and the armory are the two absolute next best places to get. There's no way they're going to be as populous as the gatehouse. Every survivor in a fort knows that when the, when the gatehouse falls, the fort falls. I've seen maybe two occasions in my decade and a half of playing this game where a fort has bounced back from the gatehouse being destroyed. It's a, it's a hard sell, because there's not even a place to gather needles around here to combat revive. You've got to use guns, which are strong, but you've got to search for them. HSRP just joined in, a member of the Knights Templar, a very long-running group within Urban Dead. Who else is around here? Lieutenant Colonel A. Tanner, USAF. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force, got red blood. Got blood, you say? Oh, I wouldn't mind a cheeky little bite out of you, Lieutenant Colonel. Well, let's go for the teeth. It's only 30%, but uh, there we go. It just it just feels so good. Biting right in. Cookie Puss is in as well. Another member of Fort Perrin Defense Force. So they, they must have uh, they must have made a call out to their own people, saying, "Oh God, we're under attack." They're bringing in people to try and thin out the zombies, get the um, get the barricades back up. The thing is, until they expel all these zombies, they are no way in hell getting the barricades back up. So as long as we maintain a presence here long enough and get more zombies inside, it will simply snowball and overwhelm them. But it can go the other way. If they get enough guns and needles to blast us down, they can get the barricades up. And the barricades are the survivors' number one way to beat the zombies. They erect barricades much cheaper than zombies chew them down. That's why the whole goal is to, at a single moment, take down the barricades and get as many zombies inside as possible. We got about 21 today, pretty good. If there are more coming in, then as long as they arrive before they kick us out and get the barricades back up, then it is advantage zombies. In fact, a great thing, it's a shame we can't see it now, but if they were to kill me right now, I'm kind of wishing they would, just to make an example. But let's say, for the sake of argument, that uh, Navy Lick here, who's been playing God, almost as long as I have, uh, let's see they come in and they shoot me to death with a shotgun and dump me out on the streets. I could get up for anything from 1 to 6 AP and then re-enter. They spent all that ammo and all the time they spent to get that ammo and the action of killing me and I just get up and lurch back in. As long as those barricades aren't there, you as a zombie have this immense advantage. We're about to go on a two-day break. I wonder about that IFT. I really wonder about that. Anyway, there are still a lot of zombies outside. Plenty of ferals as well. They may have heard the groaning, and they may shamble on in. I wouldn't mind taking a bite out of jollies since they're uninfected. Feeding drag is my favorite, but uh, 
You gotta do that on people who are low on health. Damn you zombies will get our revenge! <laughs> and he ran away after I bit him. Is this the best the Fort Perrin Defense Force can offer? People who come in, run their mouth, and then run their legs away. You can't hear it, but I'm shaking my head. But I still want my bite out of jollies. The bite is pretty unlikely to hit. Last chance. There we go. I'm not going to feed him drag out, because then that would bring me out. But whoever wants some easy, a uh, easy experience, go and chew down on their jollies. Two-day break? Not with Bannerlord. Jake will work out on Monday, then his PC will start talking to him like the Green Goblin costume. <laughs> Fort Runaways. Speaking of Runaways, Anzabar and Dead Young should probably get out of the gatehouse if there's uh, if there are more people coming in. Because with that, what are there? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! The undead outnumber the living. I have a funny feeling if we refresh... <laughs> there we go. Who killed Jollies? New Schwabian took them out. And Jollies has risen as a zombie. Revive me, please! <laughs> you know, that's great. It feels so good to see someone die and instantly rise up. Because that means they, as a player, were here, saw this, took part, and during their refresh, died. And then went, oh, oh. Damn, they knew the mistake they made. Rosa Luxemburg is also down, courtesy of Sia Arthel. Batter, batter code, uh, Battler saying that new Schwabian beat them to the kill there. You know, it's a bit sad, but Urban Dead wasn't really streamed much back in the day because well, streaming of games wasn't much of a thing back in the mid-2000s. God, if we could have seen the... Uh, maybe there are videos of it. But like the Siege of Kyger Mall, the previous uh, forts. Well, that's kind of what I'm here to uh, to reenact or re-experience. You know what it's like when you have those old games that are long dead, but you still want to do the glory years of it, uh, again? I'm so happy that people actually joined in for this. Because this experience is just a text-based browser game, but it, mm, it evokes so much out of me because it's so much more than the sum of its parts. Probably because every single person here is an actual person. It reminds me of when I... I forget if it was a Punishment game or a Patreon game, but I played through... Oh, um... Korean online MMO... Chibi characters... Half the internet met, uh, met their girlfriends through it. What the hell was it called? Well, you know the one I'm talking about. That game felt so empty and dead. Almost disconcertingly so. Maple Story, thank you. Okay, okay, somebody was not happy with the call out to the uh, to the channel and has obscured this with smears of gore. But trails of thick blood are smeared across the walls and floor, the gates are uneven. I have a funny feeling the next time we log in, these people will all be dead. Fair credit to the survivors if they pull this back. Seventeen zombies is a lot of work to kill. Uh, maybe Eight very well-armed survivors could take that out. Fewer if they use revivification needles, but that's why you get brain rot. Okay, this looks good. I'm looking forward to the follow-up next time. But that will be after our next stream, which is not now. So until then, it's a cheers and a cheerio.